One lazy morning, Anansi slept on a soft patch of grass. He did not hear Elephant's footsteps. Elephant felt as sleepy as Anansi, so he lay down in his favorite spot. Without looking, Elephant sat on top of Anansi. Floom! Mm, mm, mm. Anansi grumbled. Elephant lifted his head and looked around. Who's that? What's that? Mm, mm, mm. Anansi grumbled louder. Elephant felt something scratching his thick hide. He sat up to find Anansi the spider flattened by his big elephant tush. Anansi shook himself angrily until he popped back into his normal shape. Look before you sit, you clumsy ox, Anansi yelled. I am not an ox, Elephant chuckled. I am an elephant. Sorry, Anansi, you are such a little pipsqueak, I didn't see you. Who are you calling a pipsqueak, Anansi replied. Elephant looked left and right. Then he looked at Anansi. Well, since you are the only one in sight, I guess I am talking about you, said Elephant. Anansi said, Elephant, you think you are so big and strong. I challenge you to a tug of war. Elephant laughed. <laughs> you, me, tug of war? Snort, <laughs> chuckle, chuckle. Right now I'm going to take a nap. Elephant, I will tie a rope around your tail and go to the other end. When I pull, let the games begin, Anansi replied. Elephant just smiled and fell asleep. Anansi can be a very clever spider when he puts his mind to it. He made a long rope out of vines and tied it to Elephant's tail. Then he ran through the forest to the ocean shore. Anansi yelled over the water, Kill a whale! Kill a whale surfaced in a huge bubbling foam. Anansi! You called my name? Yes, Killawell. I want to ask you a question. Do you think you are the strongest creature in the water and on the earth? Killawell blushed and said, oh, Yes, I really am. Anansi replied, I believe I am more powerful than you. To prove it, I challenge you to a tug o' war. Killawell laughed, You? Stronger than me? Ha 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 Killowell, I will tie this rope around your top fin and go to the other end of the rope. When I pull, let the games begin, said Anansi. Let's do it, shouted Killowell. Anansi, I hope you're thirsty and know how to water ski. Anansi tied the rope around Killowell's fin. Then he ran back into the thick part of the forest. He tugged the rope as hard as he could. When Killowell felt the tug, he dove deep into the ocean. The taunt rope snatched Elephant from his napping place and dragged him through the forest. Elephant knocked down trees. Boom! Bash! Crash! The noise scared the other animals. Elephant, trying his best to regain his footing, yelled, What has Anansi been eating to give him this much strength? Elephant finally dug in and began to pull in the opposite direction. I am not going to let that spider get the best of me. Elephant ran at top speed through the forest, and when the rope pulled taunt, it pulled Killer Whale from the depths of the ocean. He was water skiing to the shore. This back and forth pulling and tugging went on for a long time. Anansi stood in the middle of the forest watching and chuckling. When both animals were too tired to move, Anansi ran to Elephant. Who is the strongest elephant? You are, Anansi. I would never have believed it. Anansi untied the rope and ran to the shore where Killer Whale was almost beached. Who is the strongest, Killer Whale? You are, Anansi. I never would have believed it, gasped Killer Whale. Anansi untied the rope and walked away. He had taught Elephant and Killer Whale to be much more respectful of smaller creatures. Luckily for Anansi, they never figured out his trick.